Hey guys, Lotus Moon here with another Mobius Final Fantasy video. In today's video, I'm going to be fully unlocking and 8 paneling the Mythic Knight Legendary Job. So this was the third and final Legend Job that was offered to us through the Dissidia uh, Final Fantasy batches. And I wanted to bring you this video guys earlier um, during the event period in which you could purchase him. In case you guys were on uh, thinking about getting him or not then you could have seen him, uh, his stats and everything. Unfortunately, the um, limited time bonus in which you could get the Mythic Knight is now over, and they currently have a, I believe, 50% bonus Magicite on your purchases, which is which is really good. So if you're still planning on buying Magicite, uh, not a bad idea to stock up on some extra Magicite. But I still wanted to bring you this video uh, kind of as a job review. Um... On this guy here and uh, for those who did get him I hope you're having a lot of fun with him and for those who did not get him um, at least you get to see now his like stats and performance so uh, to start the review off I just want to do kind of like a visual review um, he does look a lot cooler than I first thought um, online he I thought he looked a little bit lame but he actually looks really nice um, I really like his cape and sword uh, his armor looks pretty pretty detailed um, some nice really nice features on him uh, so he's a pretty cool uh, warrior class so before I get started with the unlocking I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, kinda where this job fell in Japan when it first came out and what people thought about it so I went back and looked at some older videos um, back when Mobius first came out in global and people comparing jobs and this guy was actually rated like about five months ago really high like up in the 90 95s um, in Japan and of course that number has dropped since then um, he currently in Japan is rated 80 85 um, but like I said you know if you're looking at future legend jobs and you know right now they're gonna be really high but as time goes on, more and more legend jobs are going to be released and stronger jobs in general. And by the time we get them in global, their ranking are going to be lower than what you're expecting. So I just want to kind of keep things in perspective a little bit. Like I said, when global first came out, I remember checking out the jobs on this website. And this job here, this um, Mythic Knight was rated like in the 90s. So just try to keep that in mind. Um <clears throat> So about this job, the reason why I ended up getting him was he actually has super strong attack and really good defense. His only really weak point is his low HP, but he has really good resistances, defense, he has um, heal drives, very strong ultimate. This guy is really an all-around great job. Um, and I didn't really realize that until I started reading these comments from the Japanese people um, pretty much everyone is waiting for the reboot of, um, uh, the Legend Jobs, because, um, basically, all the older Legend Jobs, uh, they're, uh, they're getting rebooted with, like, the custom panels and getting stronger, um, just like how what happened with Titus. Titus was also rated, like, 80, 85, but now he's rated, again, like, up in the 90s, because, um, because of, because of the reboot. So, like some of these comments here, you know, saying excellent sense of stability, has firepower, got good break, um, it does have low HP, but um, this has really high firepower, and it has great defense. So, this guy is going to be super strong. Um, once, basically what I've been reading is once he gets um, his reboot um, with custom panels, he's going to be super strong, like super, super good. So, let's see here. Let's just take a look at his auto abilities here on the site. It looks like he has heal drives for fire and wind. Um, he has 60% earth strengthening. So, that's really high. Um, so, that's going to be... This job's going to be the best use for um, the cloud uh, the cloud card that we got recently. Um, he, has, he has resistance 20% to all elements. Uh, so, that's really good also. Um, I know he has... Um, I know he has a good defense too. I think he has like five stars of defense. 
So anyway, um, this guy here is mostly going to be light. Um, you're going to need a lot of light skill seeds to unlock him. So if you're, if you have him, you haven't um, fully eight paneled him yet. Just expect a lot of light and quite a bit of wind also. So let's get started with uh, fully unlocking him. So again, here he is. Um, let's. I'm gonna keep him, all the cards off of him at the time being. So when we f finish eight paneling him, we can see his uh, base stats. So just like all the other legend jobs, the first um, skill panel is done for you. You know, not impressed. You know, of course, it's very little skill seed you need for the first panel, but. So on the second panel here, I uh, got clutch boost. Um, normal stuff basically we do get exploit weakness 20% it's always a great extra uh, auto ability so let's unlock this and get that extra exploit weakness <clears throat> third panel um, improve criticals 30% and then another improve criticals 20% so 50% improve criticals on this panel um, and everything else looks like a lot of magic. Uh, resist fire 20%, so that's great. So let's go ahead and lock this panel. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, I did start off with over, um, over a million light skill seeds, so let's see how, what kind of toll it takes on this. Okay, fourth panel. You get the kill and draw, which is great for um, killing off the large mobs and getting extra orbs. Um, enhance earth 10%. Uh, some more HP, more magic, typical stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use uh, one... Um, I'm going to use a couple of panels openers here just to save some skill seeds. I mean, we just had that event. Gave us a lot of panel openers, so... I figure I might as well use them on something. And the rest I'm just going to go ahead and unlock. With skill seeds. Perfect. Fourth panel's unlocked. So his weapon is Braveheart, and like I said in, uh, earlier, it's a pretty nice looking weapon, also with very good auto abilities, just like all the Dissidia Legend Job um, weapons, they all have a 30% Attune Chain and a 20% Painful Break, so it's going to be a really good weapon. So on the panel 5 here, we got the 20% extra Earth Enhancement, um, a lot more Magic per hour, Resist Water 10%. So let's go ahead and unlock this panel. Move on to panel 6. 20% uh, resist to wind. 50% painful break. Awesome. Um, and of course a lot more magic power. So let's fully unlock this panel. Moving on to panel 7, resist earth 20%, clutch wall, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I've seen a, a clutch wall in any of the other jobs so far, maybe. Um, again, a lot more magic power. Um, so let's go ahead and unlock this panel. Okay. So as always, the 8th panel, um, it got that one node of almost 100,000 of a particular seed. Again, I'm just going to use a gold opener on here just because I have them. Might as well spend them. And um, the rest of this, I mean, I have a lot of skill seeds, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about any of this. I'm just seeing if I can use some of my um, silver openers on anything good. 
I guess I'll use one on this here. And let's just fully unlock the rest of it with skill seeds since I have plenty. And get our Braveheart X. Pretty good stats. Alright, so he's fully unlocked. Um, I started off with over, I think, close to 1.1 million light skill seeds. I have 433,000 uh, left. Um, I did save some skill seeds through a few openers, but he's going to take probably around, I want to say, 800. Uh, thousand light skill seeds so now that he's fully unlocked um let's take a let's put his new weapon on first of all it's a pretty nice looking sword got some uh, good stats too good auto abilities i'll go over um his sword a little bit more in a minute so right away um base off hp 3482 base attack 459 base break 424 and base magic 505%. Wow, that's really high uh, magic. And take a look at his defense, guys. Five stars of defense. That's really high. So this guy is um, pretty beastly. Like I said uh, online there, it showed pretty much only his HP is low. But his, but his defense is super high. And same thing with his auto abilities. Let's go over his auto abilities now. So he got clutch boost and clutch wall. Heal drives of fire and wind. Enhance earth 60%, which is huge. Um, but it looks like this is the only enhance, um, that's the only enhancement he has for any of the elements. So definitely going to put want to put earth attacks on him. He has 20% base resistance for all the prime elements, which is awesome. So he's going to definitely be uh, surviving some of those higher attacks. Um... Painful Break 70%, Exploit Weakness 20%, and Improved Criticals 50%. Those are just huge numbers. Um, this is kind of like well, what we've been seeing with all of the uh, Legendary jobs. Um, he has the Healing Victory 10%, which is nice also. And the Tune Chain 30% is coming off of his weapon. Uh, but just, if, just looking with him, with his weapon... His um, auto abilities are super strong. He's going to be doing incredible damage for you guys. Um, so definitely, definitely a pretty good job. So, anyway, let's go ahead and put some, um, put some cards on him. See where he goes, uh, how his stats are. Of course, the cloud card is going to be super good on him. It's too bad he doesn't have um, water, but um, definitely has the other elements, which is good. So um, with uh, level 210 right here... Um, Let's see if I'm getting any bonus. I'm, I am getting a 6% HP up through my cards right now. But with this right now, um, looks like he has 5,600 some HP. Not too not too bad. Um, magic, you know, about 550. So this guy's pretty strong. Um, again, let's look at his weapon here. And I'll be comparing it to the Brotherhood um, from Titus. So, extra skill, attune chain 30%, painful break 20%. Titus's job uh, car, uh, weapon here has ultimate charge of 2%, elemental strike plus 2, and for the la for the third one, it has a enhanced water 100, 100%. Since the mythic uh, knight doesn't have water, that doesn't really matter, but um, I think the extra, the auto abilities on the Braveheart is a lot better. As far as stats go compared to the Titus weapon, um, got lower defense. The Titus weapon has lower defense than um, the Braveheart. Uh, low, um, lower magic and lower break. It does have a little bit extra attack, uh, 20 extra attack. Not huge, but 
Overall, um, I do like the Mythic Knight's uh, weapon better. I don't have too many um, warrior class jobs, so sorry I don't have more um, more weapons to compare it to. Um, but I will be doing some job summons soon here to try to get some of the new jobs, and we'll do another weapon comparison video. Um, but from what I've seen, um, all the the city all the Dissidia job weapons um, pretty much have the same stats as far as the extra abilities. Um, just kind of looking, uh, I have the the third ability on the um, Mythic Sages here weapon, same thing. Third percent attune chain, twenty percent bankful break, and it has improved criticals fifty percent. So that's really huge. Um, same thing with the um, same thing with the Mythic uh, a Ninja's weapon. It got it gets the third auto ability fifty percent criticals. So we're gonna see the same thing on the the Mythic Knight's weapon. It's gonna get that third auto ability. Um, Improved criticals 50%, which is which is huge. So um, I'll be doing another video um, showing his damage, especially probably around uh, Gilgamesh Tower event because I want to get this card right here ability higher. Uh, so once I get this card maxed out and some more of the auto abilities on uh, more of the extra abilities unlocked, I'll be um, showcasing this guy's damage. But um, I've actually been through some parties. With um, the Mythic Knight and his damage is incredible. I'm I'm not even I'm not trying to exaggerate here. His damage is is super strong. So overall, pretty great job. Um, sorry if you guys missed out on him. Like I know, um, same old story. Seventy five dollar paywall uh, for legend jobs. But honestly, I'm I'm kind of appreciating it a little bit more now, especially with the whole um, the whole gacha system just kind of wasting your money. Um, so I hope you guys have been having great luck with your pulls. Um, that's all for this video. I don't want to make this too long. So I'll be making another video kind of showcasing this guy's damage. Um, and I never really made a, a video showcasing the damage properly for Mythic Knight. I mean Mythic Ninja or the Mythic Sage. So I'll probably just make a, a video here soon. Just kind of showing all these guys' damage. Um, I have seen screenshots of the Mythic Sage doing, um max damage um on shiva um mythic ninja he's gonna have really strong uh, attacks too with the higher than usual magic uh for a rogue um so anyway these jobs have all been pretty good um the main issue has been the hp are been pretty low but um the auto abilities on all these have been super strong like i said the the painful break is oh, they all have 70 percent painful break Exploit weakness, improve criticals, attune chain. It's it's just been these have been really good jobs, um, especially with um, the heal drives and the prismatic shift um, ultimate. Uh, let's look at his ultimate really quick. Uh, Shining wave, really high attack, um, lower break, but it does give you that prismatic shift, um, prismatic orbs, and it adds uh, adds break power, uh, adds boost when you use it. So anyway guys, this has been Lotus Moon. Hope uh, this video was informative. Um, hope you guys are having a good time with the uh, chapter 4. Uh, and I'll be seeing you guys next video.